apocryphon and apocrypha would seem to be a very simple term when we first meet it. It comes literally from those things which are hidden or those books which are hidden, a hidden book or the hidden books. And at a very simple level, it just means those books which are not canonical, those books which have not made it into the official Bible. But a moment's thought brings up two problems. First of all, the concept of canon is not nearly as clear-cut as the list of books in a printed Bible, because the size of the canon has varied over time and with various groups. And so when we use the word apocryphon, or the plural apocrypha, we are often dealing with works which for one group are considered to be sacred writings, and for another group are considered to be merely parallel to the canon, and for another group are the very opposite of the canon. So when we meet the word apocrypha, we always have to ask ourselves this question, for whom is this piece of writing one of the hidden non-canonical works? If it is a non-canonical work, is it automatically to be rejected or is it to be seen as merely parallel to the canon? And thirdly, is it just merely an obscure term of abuse as a way used by a theologian to decry a text which he or she, and in the usage of this it's almost invariably ancient writers, wanted to deliberately exclude because they didn't like its content or its implications. You can never use the word apocrypha in a neutral sense.